Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai. Call Halal La, Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai. That's Hebrew for bless Yahawa, bless Yahawa Shai. All praises to the Father Yahawa in the name of the Son, Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be a quick show. And um, there was a brother, uh, he sent me, um, brother, uh, uh, brother sent me this video. And I believe he said it was the San Francisco camp. And uh, you see this, this uh, tough guy, you know, look like he's from the Northern Kingdom, you know, an Israelite. And uh, he's a degenerate, man. You know, Generation Z, a GMO baby, you know, uh, shows how feminized he is because men, you know, if there's a, a problem, men can logically reason, you know, men can logically discuss or debate. But when you got these men today, these uh, GMO babies, these degenerates, you know, they listen to that rap music and they embody them demons you know, to themselves. And when you got that fire, you know, which is the gun, because what you see right there, you got the gun in his hand. And I'm going to play the video. You know, he's feeling himself, you know. And by watching this video over and over, you know, just replaying it, you know, this guy looks like, you know, he just wanted some attention. He wanted to seem like he big and bad. But in all reality, if he ain't had that gun, he would have got his face washed against the ground, man. You know, he would have got drugged and dragged up and down that street. You know, but not advertising violence, all right? But just saying, man, because you got guys like this that swear the, the they got the earth, they got the world in the palm of their hand because they got guns, man. Well, wait till the Lord give us spiritual powers, man. But um, these brothers showed great faith. You know, they didn't budge. These brothers was in the spirit. You know, the Lord, the scriptures say, when two or three are gathered in my name, he are in the midst of them. You know, and I remember there was a time a couple of years ago, um... With, with, with us, GMS New Jersey camp, when we was downtown, uh, Newark area, you know, there was a time where a nigga did this too. You know, he didn't pull his gun out all the way on us, but he flashed it. You know, he told us that if we still here, when he get back, he was going to spray us down. And it happened multiple times, man. That's when, you know, going back to 2014, it was crazy. It was more, more so, so the, the spirit was heavy, heavy out there, man. You know, but now the spirit seems to calm down. But, hey, you got these niggas out here, man. You know, so Salak Rayim on this dude, man. May the most high destroy this nigga, man. All right. For misusing the prophets, man. For threatening the prophets, which are the men of the Lord. The Lord's messengers. But um, I don't want to keep going on. But I had uh, I was watching um this video first that the brother sent me. Then after I watched that. I seen Elder Manatazak, he put up a video and he was going into it too. So I want to play a little bit of what he said because it's edifying. All right. And then I'm going to uh, bring out a few scriptures and, you know, it is what it is. So that's why a lot of these niggas get mad and they threaten brothers and talk about they're going to do this and do that. They're not going to do nothing. Okay, because first of all, the issues of death belong to the most high. And see, that's the thing with a lot of these niggas, man. They, they listen to these rap songs and let Esau fool them with these movies with Terminator and all these different uh, uh, type of uh, uh, shoot em up, bang bang type movies. And they think that that's what it is. You get a gun and you become invincible. No, you don't become invincible with a gun, nigga. The Most High is the only one that's invincible. He's the one that, that issues the, the, uh, the uh, give out the issues of death. You know, he's the one that says somebody's going to die or not die. All right. You think, you know, and, and that's what it is, too. A lot, of, a lot of Jake, they get empowered, which, they, I mean, it is a, a demon with that, that gun, because you see it. A lot of niggas, that you know damn well, that little pint-sized nigga, if he ain't had no strap on him, he wouldn't even approach them, he wouldn't even approach a, a Girl Scouts or nothing, because look, you see him, he looks soft. The dude I'm talking about from the video that um approached the, the brothers and stuff, you know what I'm saying? The dude looks soft, you know? But that... Yeah, he, he looked like... He just wanted some attention. He wanted to be a tough guy. You know, he had that fire on him, you know, that pistol. And he wanted the punk brothers, you know. He wanted to put fear into brothers. But the scriptures say, you know, the Lord said he don't give us the spirit of fear. 
you know, and, and, and as the brothers was continuing to teach him and standing there holding their ground, you know, uh, being harmless as a dove, wise as a serpent and bringing out the scriptures, you know, the Lord, the scriptures say when two or three are gathered, he are in the midst of the midst of us. You know, so the brothers was just continuing to teach, man. And 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 the Lord got that demon up out of there, man. But you can see that this guy was a not even fucking little chump, man. Yeah, yeah, chump. You know? But um, you know, when dudes get that fire, they get that power in their hand, they get those demons, and then he's looking around, you know, to see if any, you know, he probably noticed he was being filmed. And now all of a sudden you turn around and stupid niggas like this. See, when you flashing your gun and doing stupid shit like that and you on camera because we film, we putting these videos up, man. OK, for edification, see, you know, to build the elect, to, to for the Lord to seal the elect so that they know that this is the truth. OK, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his dumb ass. Hey, hey, even the boys, man, you know, they can see that, see these videos. They watch our videos, man. And your stupid ass can get locked the fuck up, man. But um, you know, I'ma um leave with that. I'ma play the video. Let's play the video. He calling brothers faggots, but who the real faggot? You got a gun in your hand, you know? Now, we not out there to be uh, 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 tough guys. We out there to teach the word, you know? We ain't out there to fight anybody, but brothers will defend themselves. But he's calling brothers faggots, but he the one with the gun in the hand. Like, that's how you know that these these degenerates, these uh, two-thirds that the Lord going to put to death, they don't really have a mind. They, the scriptures say they were born in vain. They were born in vain, man. You know, and that's to the southern kingdom all the way to what? The northern kingdom, man. You know, all, all of Israel has become two-thirds of Israelites, you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native Seminole Indians, which are Israelites, have really, you know, just become... Degenerates, man. Born in vain. Your life is worthless. You know? Worthless. Um, let's get a scripture here. Uh, I had Jeremiah 16. I'm going to read it. Uh, Jeremiah 16 and 4 says, They shall die of a grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine. And their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and the beasts of the earth, uh, for the beasts of the earth. Uh, it says, for thus saith the Lord, enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to lament nor bemourn them. For I have taken away my peace from this people, saith the Lord, Yahweh, even loving kindness and mercies. Both the great and the small shall die in this land. They shall not be buried. Neither shall men lament for them nor cut themselves, nor make themselves bald for them, all right? Because when this nigga die, you know, ain't nobody mourning over him. You know, may the Most High preserve him for the day of evil, you know? May the Most High reserve this nigga right here that you see on camera that threatened the brothers with a gun. May the Most High preserve him for the day of uh, of evil, man, you know? For that great day of that uh, destruction from the Almighty, man. When the Lord blow up that fire across this uh, land in what you call North America. All right. Because this dude, you know, he, he he's something else, man. And and this happened a lot, man. This happens a lot. But it died down since, since uh, you know, well, over here in Jersey. But it can happen any time. And that's why, you know, we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, man. Because it's truly the Lord you know, that, that deliver us from the hands of these wicked men, all right? It was the spirit that made that man turn around and walk the fuck off, man. It was the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And as the elder said, man, okay, the Lord belongs the issue of death, okay? Esau, you don't have the power of death. Now, you can strive to take life, 
But if the Lord don't want that particular person to die, then guess what? You can't t you can't kill him, man. Because the Lord belongs the issue of death, man. Um, let me go to um Second Chronicles. Uh, what was it? Nope. 36 and 16. It says, Second Chronicles chapter 36 and 15. It says, And the Lord Yahweh of their fathers sent to them by messengers rising up bedtimes and sending, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. All right. So the Heavenly Father have compassion upon you, Israelites. Who are you, Israelites? You so called Negroes, you West Indians, you Haitians. You Hispanics, you native and Seminole Indians, the Lord do have compassion upon you. This is why he sent forth the prophets. This is why you see the men of the Lord out there teaching his truth. All right. So it says in the Lord, Yahweh, okay, of their fathers sent to them by his messengers. Because who are the messengers? The prophets rising up bedtimes and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord Yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy. So when the Lord bring this great swift judgment upon you, you're gonna die of a grievous death because you what? Misused the prophets, okay? You despised his word. You know, you threatened the men of the Lord. You see why the Lord said not to uh, mourn when the most, the most, <laughs> when the Most High bring this wrath, this 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 coming destruction, man. The men of the Lord, the elect, okay, let's say the elect of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, they're not mourning over you niggas, man. You niggas deserve death at a at a at a, at a, at a uh, you know an alarming. A uh, 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 scale, you know, alarming, extreme way. You deserve death in an extreme way, all right. And that's by the way of thermonuclear fire, man. But um, hey, you know, he wanted to be big badass, all right. Let me get this scripture. This is Jeremiah chapter fifteen and one. It says, "Then said the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people." And who he's talking about? The Israelites. He's talking about the wicked two-thirds. His mind cannot be toward them. So the Lord ain't hearing his prayers. All right? The Most High is going to bring swift judgment upon you niggas, man. All right? It says, cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass if they, if they say unto thee, whether shall we go forth, then shall thou, then should, then shall, excuse me, then thou shall tell them, thus saith the Lord, such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to sword, and such as are for famine to famine, and such as are for captivity to captivity. Because you're not you're, you're not you're not gonna see salvation. You're not seeing salvation, man. Alright? The wicked is not seeing salvation. It says, verse 3, and it and I will appoint them, appoint over them four kinds, say of the Lord, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear the fowls of heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. All right. So you're going to die of a grievous fashion, man. All right. Let me play it one more time. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.